Hi, and welcome to our Qubit how-to video series. Qubit is the natural estimator solution for a wide range of construction professionals, from quantity surveyors and commercial builders, through to residential builders and subcontractors. In this video, I'll be showing you the different ways that we can change the default rounding options within Qubit. Firstly, let's look at our system settings. To find the settings for Qubit, on the job manager, come up to the top left where it says Qubit, and in the drop down menu, click the options button. This fly window here contains all of the default parameters for Qubit. Let's come down to where it says jobs, and you'll notice in our first section here, we have our quantity rounding, our rate rounding, and even our total rounding here. And we can change these as default parameters for all new jobs that we create. I'm going to keep them as exact for the time being. And I'll show you the next level down where we can change different options. I've created a blank job and have not used a template just to show where we can now change the various parameters before we start entering data. On the configuration tab, the very far right hand side, we'll see we have our default quantity rate and total rounding again. By default, they're set to the system settings, but we can change these independent of that setting. So I can set all of my quantity roundings to round up, and every new quantity that I create within this job will automatically round up. Same for my rates, and same for my totals. Let's perform just a quick manual calculation to see it in action. In my calculation sheet, quickly create an item with a total of 7.5, and as you can see in my estimate, it has rounded up automatically to eight. I didn't change my rates, so if I were to create a quick rate, you see my rates have not been rounded up. If I were to change the rate rounding now to round up, you notice that the item has not changed. This action only affects future work. So if I were to create now a second item, and run the same process, you'll see that that rate has already rounded up to $3. Now let's change the quantity rounding to exact and see what happens when I enter the same formula on item two. You'll see it's still rounded up to eight and that's because the actual line item itself was created with the parameters in our default for the job. If I were to create a brand new item and run that same formula, you'll see it is now accepting on this line our new defaults. So our job defaults only affect items that you create after the change, not prior to. You can manually affect a line item as well in the details panel. On the right hand side here you'll notice we have our calc sheet, our rate sheet and our total rounding options. So if I change my calc sheet now to an exact formula it will affect that quantity. Similarly if I change my rate sheet rounding to round down it will affect that rate independent of the job defaults. So just to reiterate, once again, if I were to create a fourth item, it will share an exact quantity rounding. It will round up for my rates. And we'll keep it as exact for our totals. And you can see these parameters in our details pane straight away. Calculation sheet rounding exactly, rate sheet rounding up. Lastly, you can also use rounding to affect formulas and referencing. As we showed you in a previous video, you can use standard formats such as Roundup. And in the user guide, 
on page 114. There are a number of different rounding functions that can be inserted into those formulas. So as you can see, there are numerous ways to affect the rounding options of your data in Qubit. Please check out our other how-to videos and remember that we're here to help. You can contact our support team or visit our knowledge base online for more information that will help you with using Qubit. Happy estimating!